This is the time we will start benefiting from the database relationships we defined at the earlier part of this video tutorials. So if we go to our company's database, we'll see a company belongs to a user, but then it has many projects too. So we're going to define the company function uh, projects. So a company has many projects. So we say return this has many projects app project so um with this we can retrieve all the projects you remember what we're planning to do we're trying to retrieve all the projects and display them in blocks like this all right so now we have this relationship defined we can now go to our controller and inside here we'll retrieve all the projects by this company so we can say projects so we can say um, well it's already there according to what we did so uh, since we already have this what we're gonna do is just to go to a view and start um, printing it out so this is what we have I will uh, remove this and then put a forage loop here forage company projects as project I hope you're seeing what I'm doing right now I've accessed the projects the list of projects inside company and I'm um, looping through them so which means at the end of this place I'm just going to do end forage so since we now have project we can now start printing the contents of the project which is um, we're gonna do this we're gonna do this project dash name because there's a field called name in the projects table and then I think the project has description too so we're gonna do a project description which is what we can do from here project description I'm just gonna delete all this so this sorts our problem so I'll just do this um, the project slash description so project description and then uh, we're gonna create the link so we can just say yeah view details view project okay so we're gonna do what we did the other time like I told you there are many ways to actually do this but we're using the first way so we just say go to projects and um, show us the list of the projects so just give us the id of this project so we're gonna do the same thing we did there project id cool so this sorts our problem and since we don't have any project yet um, in a database um, i just want to confirm the field whether the description exists i'm going to here project yes there's a description okay cool so we're just gonna go and refresh we don't have the project yet so this sh it should come up empty so we reload and it comes up empty all right so i want to look at the html for this again one more time and then we'll go and add some dummy projects in the database so if i go to show and up here i'll see that it's recreated container but in our app.blade we already have container we already have container so i'm just going to remove this container id I'm going to remove the bottom ID and uh, the top one. Just remove. Cool. So refresh. That looks better for me. All right. So uh, now we've sorted this out. What we're going to do right now is to um, is to go and add some dummy data, some dummy uh, projects. So we'll go to a database. Go on the projects a database um, P manager. Then on the projects, we'll go and insert insert a new project. Maybe two new projects will make sense. So the first one we'll call it um, the first uh, project we can call it Zioni phone. All right. So we're building a Zioni phone. So we can just say this is a a dummy project for building Xeonifon 
on for our people. So cool. So the second one, we're going to fill some of these other fields. For instance, company ID, let's say it belongs to the first company and the, by the first user. And it's going to take 10 days to build and they created that today. Cool. And then we're going to do the same thing here. The second project is building uh, a student management app. Okay, so it's uh, a student management app for all students for all students about to be fired from school so this sorts our problem i think what we should do is to um now make sure that in the company id it belongs to the second company or just let's say put it on the first company by the first user and this will take 33 days to complete and uh, it's starting today i will say go create the two of them and we're good to go so if we come back and refresh uh, it will now confirm whether what we did was right or wrong so if we see new projects here then we have written a cool code all right as you can see we have new projects and uh, our projects have the correct description under them and then view project keep your eye underneath here so you will see that it has project slash two, right? And this has project slash one. If we click on it, it should take us to the project page. So see you in the next video where we work out some other things and make sure that our app looks cool. I hope you're enjoying the video by this time and you're understanding how things work.